Hi, my name's Jade and I'm a Career Advisor at Skills Development Scotland. Today I'm going to be talking to you about resilience as part of our Next Steps episodes. Let's start by talking about what resilience is. So you'll see on the screen we've got a picture of a bouncy ball and that's because resilience is your ability to bounce back. We all experience challenging situations in our lives and I'm sure you can think of some situations where you've had to use your resilience, this ability to bounce back. Perhaps you failed a class test or perhaps you've moved house a lot or perhaps things just haven't worked out as you expected. All of these challenging situations can leave us feeling scared, annoyed, frustrated or just plain disappointed and we want you all to know that it's okay to feel like this. But as career advisors, what we also want you to know is that it's important how you respond to this, how you bounce back and be resilient. So how do we develop our resilience? I know in my life and in my career, I've had times where I felt quite challenged and disappointed or anxious about things I've had to do or decisions I've had to make. And what's really helped me in these situations is who I've looked to for support and who I've spoken to about how I was feeling. Our networks are really important in how we cope with our challenges and decisions and there are people out there who can help you to deal with and overcome these challenges and support you to make difficult decisions. So take a moment and think about the people you have around you who can support you and offer you advice. This could be family and friends, but it can also include people such as your teachers, a social worker and even your career advisor. Career advisors can help you to think about the people that are in your network, as there may be other people that we haven't mentioned here. Your career advisor can also help you to explore who is not in your network, but maybe how they can help you too and how you can approach them. If you're listening to this video and you are feeling like you're in a challenging situation just now, then we've got a really simple activity to help you. So what I want you to do is to think about a time in your life when you've had to overcome a challenging situation. You might want to write this down. So how did you do this? How did it feel when you persevered and got through it? Were there people you spoke to? I'm hoping that through remembering this, you will feel inspired to try again because you'll be able to see that you can do it. Also, when we're reflecting on our experiences, we can also see the strengths that we have taken from these. For example, if you're somebody that's moved house a lot, this might have felt really negative at the time, but actually you might have built up our strength from this and that you might be really good at meeting new people and building new relationships. When we think about someone successful, we often see the end result. So here we have Andy Murray and Serena Williams with their trophies, and I'm sure you can, you can all think of somebody else that you really admire. However, what we don't see is all the hard work, the determination and the struggles that that person has had to go through to get to that point. And this iceberg image here really illustrates this. What we don't see is the sacrifice, the failure, the persistence and the hard work and the discipline that all goes into this. We're only seeing that peak at the top, all of that success. So just remember, success is a journey, not just a destination. Our paths are rarely straightforward and almost always include some bumps along the way. But the more bumps you experience, the more prepared you are for the next one and there are people there to help you. So I'm just going to finish by going over our three takeaway points. Our first point would be that we all experience challenges. We often build or demonstrate our strengths from these experiences. Our second point would be that sometimes we make mistakes. It's how we learn from these and pick ourselves up that's important. And our final point would be that remember your network of people and remember us, your career service. We can help you with this and your next steps. Thank you for watching. Another good video to check out from our series is on barriers, which highlights some of the challenges we might encounter in our lives. And please remember, you can access my world of work whenever you need to. And please do keep in touch with your advisor. If you haven't spoken to a career advisor before, please contact 0800 917 8000. You can also take a look at our Facebook and Twitter page for more information on our services. 
And I'd just like to finish by wishing you all the very best of luck with your future career journey.